Welcome back to Saints Row 2, and oh, cell phone's ringing. Well, we didn't hear anybody screaming and getting shot, but uh, yep, this feature's back. We once again have territory takeovers. We'll explain more in just a moment, but first, I also have an assassination to do. So, gotta call a cab. That's the cab number. It's got boob in there. Going to guess that was on purpose. You know, <laughs> if I had to take Hi, a guess. You've reached TNA Taxi. Honey, you can ride us wherever you want to. I was mostly talking about, like, you know, the game that's in, but also that advertisement, uh, kind of helps the case, too. Anyway, ooh, hey, cab service, how's it going? Um, bye. <laughs> Frank eliminated. The words everybody wants to see. Alright, so, uh, as it turns out, as much as I want to help out the other saints over there, um... This is wanted in the chop shop, and if the cops are gonna be after me anyway, uh... Might as well- Pardon me? I might as well just take this over to the chop shop. Alright, so- Jeez. So much traffic today. I'm in a hurry! Look. A lot of my boys are getting shot up north, and I need to help them. So get out, or I will break your car. <laughs> you will not have headlights. More like they'll be gone. Uh, alright, so anyway. Uh, let's see, turn in here, and there we go. Alright, now, taxi delivered. We can go off to... Uh, the north end of town. What was that? Museums District? Actually, do we even own museums? I don't know if we do. Starting a little farther back than I really need to be, but, I mean, Take On Me is playing. I wanna hear that. I just had the thought, how copyrighted is this? <laughs> hey, how much is YouTube gonna hate it if I do let this play out? <laughs> I haven't used this one yet. <laughs> how boned am I? Actually, uh, <laughs> me talking over things does help sometimes, though. I actually had to change a few of the songs on the non-com version of Part 3, because uh, a few of those songs, much as I had predicted for being rap songs, uh... <laughs> You- YouTube did not like me using this. <laughs> at all. Uh, so, you know, I just- I just took that video down and, uh, replaced it with other things. But I did need to do that yes, for the calm version. Yes, Mr. Vogel. Uh. <laughs> CEO likes the song I like, how dare he. Anyway, though, uh, gang pushbacks work like they did in the first game. Uh, when you arrive at the area, there are a whole lot of enemies that will try to attack you, but you aim specifically for the lieutenant so that you win and can get money from the area again. Right, so that covers pushbacks, uh, which means I got a little bit of spare time, so I guess we'll go back into voice actors. Uh, we're back on the Brotherhood, so uh, might as well mention them. First off, we've already done Mero, so next on the list is Jessica. She is voiced by Jamie Presley. Uh, Matt is voiced by Anthony Pulsini, and Donnie is still voiced by Andrew Kishino. Is perhaps the most relevant uh, to mention here. What the fuck happened here? I'm gonna grab the CD, but also, damn. <laughs> Sucks for those guys. <laughs> they completely lost that car. Uh, anyway, though, yeah, you guys over there, cool. I really wish I had a sniper rifle. Man, I could have taken care of them from over by where that car was just... ...standing vertically as a car shouldn't. Oh, cool. I guess we got more car customizations. I might do that at some point, but that seems like a lot of work for other people things, so I don't know. 
Alright, so, what mission are we doing today? Well, activity, rather. Should call it what it's actually supposed to be called. So, our activity is actually one that should be familiar from Saints Row 1, and that is drug trafficking. Move in here. There we go. Now I'm out of the way. Alright, who am I trafficking for this time? Sup? My cousin Tobias said that you might be needing some spare cash. Can you help me out? Any friend of Toby's a friend of mine. Here's what's going down. These over here are filled with a whole lot of shit that'd never get past customs, if you know what I'm saying. These over here are filled with clothes and hair dryers and shit. We don't worry about pile number two. So what you need me to do? Same shit you did for my cousin. I make the deals, you make sure no one puts me in jail or in the ground. Anyway, though, our level 3 uh, reward was a special type of shotgun. And this is just unlimited shotgun ammo, which is kind of finicky with how it works, so we're not going to see me with unlimited ammo this time, but in due time, I will just have unlimited shotgun ammo, which is very nice. Do appreciate a shotgun that just goes on forever. Alright, so, with that, uh, first and foremost, we, uh, have another thing to bring into the chop shop, but after that, I've got a little plan. So what do we do with the Brotherhood? Well, a chain is only as strong as their weakest link, and you know, I had a thought. We know what the weakest link of the Brotherhood is. We saw that weakest link ourselves. And I'm sure Mero doesn't know exactly what that is. 
but oh god damn it really <laughs> how many do uh, every time with this parking lot uh anyway i'm sure Mero doesn't know what his weakest link is but the boss does and so i'm thinking we're going to be paying a certain someone a little visit so it's late at night there's a certain location that a certain someone might be visiting. I think I probably just killed whoever was in that car. But regardless. It's time to make a... House call? Pickup? I guess it would be a pickup. Anyway. Who else could be over here? But, um... I'd call him an old friend, but he isn't. Lynn, I... I miss you. That's sweet, Donnie. I missed you too. Oh, shit. You haven't seen me since your boss shot and stuffed me in the trunk of a car and the best you can give me is oh shit? You're supposed to be dead! That'll work. Now walk to the car. How'd you know I'd be here? You're predictable. What do you want with me? You're gonna do some pro bono mechanic work. What do you mean, pro bono work? <laughs> I'm through answering questions. Now get in the car. No, oh, we have to use Donnie's stupid car. Oh well, whatever. You work on Brotherhood trucks, right? Not even. Yeah. Good. Then you'll know how to take them apart. You rig enough Brotherhood trucks to go boom, and I won't kill you. All right, so uh, we've got our gimmick for this one. We're going around having Donnie destroy these trucks because the Brotherhood like a few things, and their cars are amongst them. So, let's talk about Donnie. So, I had the thought the other day that Donnie is actually probably one of the best written characters in this game. Because they're going for a certain thing with him, and I think it comes across perfectly. So, by all accounts, Donnie should be really sympathetic. <laughs> Fucking killed that person. Uh, anyway though, yeah, by all accounts, Donnie should be very sympathetic, you know? He had this relationship with Lynn. Uh, turned out Lynn was a spy for us, a spy for the Saints. Uh, and then she was killed. And like, he's not outwardly done anything. And yet, despite all this, he's one of the more contemptible characters in the game. <laughs> he is... The exact kind of whiny that you can't even really feel sorry for. Like, it's not even necessarily like he's crying crocodile tears or anything. Like, he's genuinely upset about what happened to Lin, but also, he just sucks so bad that, like, you can't really feel sorry for him. And, like, part of that is he is just very pathetic, you know? He is pathetic and he doesn't do anything. He is just the the worst kind of spineless. Like if he did have a spine and he was sad about Lynn, it, that'd be all cool. But he really doesn't though. Since I was in the rollers, can you let it go? No. Also you're in the Brotherhood, fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, no, like in the last game, we saw him rather than do anything whatsoever. <laughs> he ran away and cried, instead of, you know, being helpful to anybody. Like, obviously he didn't help Lynn, and that resulted in her death. I don't think he could have done anything personally, because it's Donnie. He really isn't a force of nature or anything. But, like, he didn't even try anything, though. Like, he pushed Lynn's car for, like, a second but then got too upset and ran. And like, at that point, okay, so you're not going to help the saints. 
But he didn't even help the fucking rollers. And after he ran off, he didn't even tell his best friend Joseph Price that he was leaving, but otherwise okay. Price thought Donnie was dead. He thought we killed Donnie because he simply did not call at all. He just left and whined. So yeah, he was equally useless to both the Saints and the Rollers. And you know what? If he had actually felt betrayed and, like, helped in the end, but was still firmly on the roller side, I feel like that would be more respectable. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I could necessarily call him a fence-sitter exactly. He is by definition, but like, man. <laughs> I feel like some fence-sitters will also still try to do, like, something. <laughs> like, anything whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, like, this isn't even me holding him up at gunpoint that well. The gun isn't even facing him most of the time. Like, he probably could run away without too much issue, but now just hold the pistol up to him for a little while, and now he's gonna blow up all the Brotherhood trucks. Good job, you dork. But yeah, no, like, considering the way this game treats Donnie, uh, I'm pretty sure the way I feel about him is exactly what you're supposed to feel about him. Yeah, you say that, but... <laughs> like, part of it is also... You're a good mechanic. Like, Donnie's a good mechanic. He could do a legitimate work. But he is twice now wound up in a gang, for reasons unknown. It's never explained why. We don't know if he wants to, or maybe he's in some kind of debt. Considering what certain other characters can get away with and still get a legitimate job, or legitimate-ish job, in Stillwater, I feel like being a part of the Rollers wouldn't have killed his, uh... <laughs> oh, good job, guys. Uh, anyway, though, yeah, I, I don't think it would have killed his job prospects that much. My guess is he's just the type of mechanic who would be absolutely bored if he had to work on, like, normal people jobs. I don't think he's the type who'd like having to do regular mechanic work. He's somebody who needs to do weird jobs for gangs obsessed with their cars, because they're the ones who will do interesting shit with their vehicles. I'm guessing that's what draws it to him, but nonetheless, this is the second gang he's been in. <laughs> so, like, clearly... He, he's trying to play at least a little bit innocent, but come on, dude. If you cared that much about being legit, you would not be in the Brotherhood. Anyway, uh, here's the part where, uh, if you're not careful, uh, one of the Brotherhood cars is going to drive directly at you. Uh, we've got about 30 seconds to survive, and... What the fuck happened there? Uh... Basically, yeah, they're gonna try to chase you with the car with explosives on it, so if you're within range of that when it goes off, you're dead. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's a powerful explosion. You die. Thankfully, though, I outran it almost, if anything, a little too easily. I kind of wish I had a harder time with that, so you could have at least seen the truck chasing me. <laughs> Just let it go. Who the fuck do the Saints think they are turning me down? Sweetie, it's not a big deal. Just kill him. Hey, Donnie, where have you- Meryl! I'm so sorry! What did you do, Donnie? I it's the Saints! Th they- What did you do, Donnie? They made me rig up some of our boys' trucks and- And you did it? I, I didn't have a choice. You had a choice, Donnie. You chose your life over the rest of us. I had a gun to my head, man! What was I supposed to do? Have a spine. I didn't say anything about the shipment! Well, that makes it all better. Bro, you should be pissed at that asshole running the Saints, not Donnie. I didn't ask your opinion, Matt. Mero, who's gonna fix my car? Alright, 
so that's it for that mission. Uh, we fucked with Donnie. I guess that's our way of having our revenge for letting Lynn die. And hey, we got Donnie's vehicle, which is actually a voxel, uh, much like Lynn's car was. So that's a nice little nod to uh, Lynn right there. And you know, I do like the voxel as a car. Just wouldn't want to keep the paint on it. Speaking of the voxel, uh, I didn't see it explode, but I can only assume that it did. I hope it did. <laughs> I know that's in loving memory of Lynn, but you don't get to have that, Donnie. And while I could have that truck, I don't want it, so it can stay there. Clearly it's not as good as the death limousine that I made. I mean, the limousine was mostly made already, I just put spikes on it. Anyway though, that's it for this episode of Saints Row. Gonna take a look at the shiny new shotgun, though I don't think it's gonna be the one I keep in the long run. There it is, see? There it is, the Ultimax. Anyway, yep, uh, I think we've fucked with Donnie enough for one day. Next time... Ah, uh, we'll probably mess with a zombie again, I guess. <laughs>